I am ZS Caravalo from ZK Research and I'm here on site at Dell Technology World. I'm curious, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's day three now, we had Michael's keynote yesterday, had a bunch of the product announcements. Anything here catch your eye? How do you use technology to apply it to the business that you're in? How does it help you uh, be more efficient with the operations? How does it help you engage your workers? How does it help you engage your customers? How do you move forward because of an investment in techni technical innovations? This year it's about turning those projects into reality and bringing solutions to the marketplace and we're seeing that with our Apex portfolio with a ton of new offerings that we're doing around there but also what we're doing around the edge, um, helping our, our customers be able to manage, deploy and secure the edge solutions as well. You know, how what we're doing around uh, AI and generative AI specifically, the, the unique opportunity that we have around that space as well. The analogy I use, it's a little bit like search, right? We have general search with Google. Right. Uh, but if you're a law firm, you use LexisNexis, right? Exactly. And, and uh, even if it's a consumer, if you're trying to find information on, say, restaurants, you go to Yelp, right? And so the, that general chat GPT, uh, I think the way it works is something that we'll use in business, but the, the, the data that uh, you model it from will be unique to, in, to, to industries or even in some cases some some uh, uh, some right. companies. Yeah. Especially for stuff that's proprietary. You know? Yeah. I mean, you don't want all of that out in the wild. The world doesn't live inside the four walls of the data center anymore, right? Um, we've expanded. But it doesn't not live there either. No, but, it, yeah. it still <laughs> is a part of it, but it's not the only part of it. I don't remember a period of time, including my time as an IT pro and a CIO and a DeVar myself, where there was so much uncertainty for, for IT professionals. Right? And I'm, I'm curious from your perspective, what are the things that are keeping your customers up most at night? Yeah, that's interesting. For, for one, I would say the uncertainty comes from just the sheer amount of change that's happening in our industry. IT departments can get really stuck in what they're doing because they're worried about security, they're worried about all these other factors that are very important. But our students, they want fast, they want new, they want updated things, right? So it's difficult. An organization needs to kind of reimagine itself for the times that we're living in. Well, j just the, the integration with everything and, and the whole focus on cybersecurity, the whole focus on zero trust. I mean, just, just being able to secure the environment right out of the gate, right? You just have to work smart. Your job's getting easier and easier because technology is enabling us to, buzzwords again, orchestrate but and automate embrace that change. You have to embrace it. You have to change with it all the time. AI, machine learning. This is another wave of the, of the computer revolution. Everybody said computers are going to make less jobs. And, and over the past 20 years, there's peer written reviews on it. Yes. It's created more jobs than it's removed. So AI and machine learning is, I can just see it doing exactly so the same thing. you're excited about this, Sarah. Oh, love it, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, there you go. From, uh, from the mouth of Will Championship, <laughs> if you, Will Champion, if you automate technology, you'll have more time Absolutely. for coffee.